Christian, hardcore, devoted unto God. What happened to me? Why would I fail the moment I stepped away from my comfort zone? Hey, did you notice Tristan hasn't been at work lately? Well, I heard something went down between Aaron and him. Like, their friendship is legit over. What was Aaron trying to prove in that house? Dude, what happened all of a sudden? He's just someone not to be trusted. I wouldn't allow him to be part of my brother's life or mine. It's actually a story I personally went through last summer. And I think the spirit behind this film and what I'm trying to say is that sometimes we tend to make mistakes that can affect not only us, but the people around us. We're so quick to believe what one tells us and become very critical or judgmental towards that other person when we don't even really know the situation to begin with. When I was going through this, I had to come to a place where I felt completely broken and weak because it was at that moment I was able to let go of all doubt and denial and start to heal and overcome. And when I say overcome, I mean overcoming the demons I had to battle for so long. I truly believe, and this is not to justify anything that we do, but I truly believe that we all have certain demons we must battle in order for us to overcome and to share testimony. Most of us tend to continue to repeat the same pattern because we're afraid to go through the emotions or trials. And instead we try to fill a void in our lives with the things that only make it worse. And it is at that moment we completely go blindsided. What I want people to get out of this film and from my story is that there will always be hope waiting for us. Whatever it is that you believe in, it's waiting. And that's really what I wanted to focus on writing this film. We just had to find it. And by finding it, it requires getting spiritually cleansed, renewing your mind, and having to face certain groups that will indeed cause us to cry and hurt. For anyone who may feel alone, or for anyone who may feel like it's impossible to move forward, just know that you have the ability to overcome and move on. And for anyone else, who may see someone hurting or going through something intense, don't be so quick to shut them out or reject them. Motivate them, encourage them, and let them know that you're cheering them on in hopes that they find whatever it is they need to find for them to move past the situation. I think if we can all try to apply that in our lives, we may just see a difference in how one treats another.